To safely set up environment variables using Commander, you first want to navigate to where you have the program installed. For me, this is going to be inside of my home directory under Tools. And then in here, I see that I do have the Commander folder listed. Once I navigate into that, I'm presented with all the files that are located inside of this folder. I'll go ahead and open this up in VS Code. Once this is open, the file that we are concerned with is going to be our user aliases. This contains all the aliases that we can add for Commander to apply on startup. A couple aliases that I'm going to add are going to be home, which can take me to our default directory. I have an alias called add alias which will open up VS Code so that I don't have to navigate here every single time using the terminal. On a new line, I'm going to create a new one. Note that we don't have to type out the alias keyword for it to be recognized as an alias. Everything in this file will be an alias. I'm going to add a new alias that allows me to check out our master branch as well as pull in the latest changes. To do so, I'll call this gcpm. Note that I don't have to prefix any of these with the alias keyword. I'll set this equal to git checkout master. And then I'll follow up with git pull origin master. Once that's saved, I can go ahead and exit VS Code. And once I restart my terminal instance, I'll have this new command available to me. To test this out, I'll go ahead and change into a repository that I already have created. From here, I can simply type gcpm to pull in the latest changes. It looks like it worked because I am on my master branch and I already have the latest changes set up. 